Understanding idiomatic expressions. The sky's on fire. Hello, language enthusiasts. Today we're diving into the vibrant world of English idiomatic expressions. We'll explore the phrase, the sky's on fire, which paints a vivid picture with words. This is a great opportunity to expand your English vocabulary and comprehension, especially if you're an English language learner. So, let's get started. At first glance, the skies on fire might sound alarming. Literally, it suggests that the sky, the vast expanse above us, is ablaze. However, in English, this phrase is not usually intended to cause panic. It's important to understand that this phrase is not about a real fire in the sky but rather a descriptive way of talking about its appearance. In everyday use, the skies on fire is an idiomatic expression that describes the sky during a particularly vivid sunset or sunrise. When the sky is filled with intense, fiery colors like red, orange, and pink, it can look as though it's ablaze. This expression is a way to convey the beauty and intensity of the sky's colors in a poetic and imaginative manner. Let's see how this phrase can be used in different contexts. 1. Describing nature. As the sun set over the ocean, the sky's on fire with brilliant hues. 2. In literature and poetry, writers often use this phrase to add vivid imagery to their descriptions. 3. In everyday conversation, did you see the sunset yesterday? The sky was on fire. It was beautiful. Remember, the phrase is metaphorical and is used to enhance descriptive language. Here are some similar expressions that also use natural phenomena to describe something vividly. A sea of flames, describing an area engulfed in fire or light. Paint the town red, to celebrate or party in a lively and energetic way. And that's a wrap on, the sky's on fire. This phrase is a wonderful example of how English can use vivid, imaginative language to describe something as simple as a sunset. It shows the beauty and creativity of idiomatic expressions. Keep exploring these expressions to enrich your understanding of the English language. Hope this was helpful, and see you in the next video.